Okay, this is Greg Troutwine with Marine Technology TV. We're here at the Ocean Business 2017 in Southampton, England. And we're here today with Rich Patterson of Kongsburg Maritime. And Rich, first and foremost, it's a busy show. Thanks for taking the time to join us. Uh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, Rich, I would dare to assume that everybody who's watching this and most people who read our pub publications know who Kongsberg Maritime is, but can you just give us a short overview to kick it off? Sure. So Kongsberg Maritime is a company based in Norway, but has an international presence in the uh, marine electronics uh, field. So the company literally makes uh, anything you can think of that uh, would either go on a ship or could be deployed from a ship. Uh, anything from autonomous underwater vehicles all the way down to ship's control systems. So a wide variety of products. Uh, here we're mainly focusing on uh, our subsea group, which uh, makes sonar systems, autonomous underwater vehicles, uh, acoustic positioning systems, mm -hmm. and things like that. So I know in particular uh, that you're engaged in an area of marine robotics that has actually caused a lot of buzz. Um, I believe you have a new product in development called Eloom, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yeah, and uh, we've actually written about it in our pages. Um, I've, I've seen and we've shared the video on our various channels. Um, but for some of the viewers who might not know what the Eloom is, uh, can you give us an overview? Sure. Uh, Eloom is a, a very innovative new uh, autonomous underwater vehicle that uh, actually looks and can swim like an eel, okay. just like its name. So its name is kind of a combination of the word eel and illumination. Okay. So the idea is to have a uh, very agile, um, autonomous underwater vehicle that can be resonant on the seafloor okay. um, and stay there for months at a time mm -hmm. and be able to uh, effectively uh, inspect Mm -hmm. and do some light intervention on subsea infrastructure. Okay. So mainly, we, at this point anyway, we're talking about the oil and gas industry. Okay. And more and more, the oil and gas industry wants to put as much infrastructure as they can on the seafloor. Um, but they also need to be able to operate valves or mm -hmm. inspect the equipment to make sure that everything's okay. And so that's what Elum is designed to do. So mm -hmm. it will live in a, a docking station on the seafloor, um, where it will have several tools at its disposal. Mm -hmm. And then you can uh, have it periodically go out and do inspection of the infrastructure, mm -hmm. or say you need to operate a valve or something like mm -hmm. that. Uh, you can pick up its valve operating tool, a manipulator, and go out and operate the valve that you want to. Um, the innovative thing about it is the fact that it's, it's very narrow and long. Uh, it uses uh, a set of uh, thrusters for moving forward, but it also has thrusters for uh, adjusting its uh, uh, position in terms of laterally and both up and down. Okay. So it can hover, um, and it's thin enough that it can actually swim into pipes and do complete pipe inspections if it's open anyway. So uh, that's a pretty unique uh, ability there, but it's also flexible. Mm -hmm. So you can have it assume different shapes. Uh, for instance, if you had a camera on one end and a manipulator on the other end, you could actually have it assume a, a U shape yeah. and the camera can be watching the manipulator as it's doing its work. Yeah. And uh, meanwhile, if you have some kind of communications with it, like potentially acoustic communications mm -hmm. and short range uh, applications, you could actually be watching that video from above or even back on shore somewhere yeah. and directing the, the vehicle on what to do. So there's a wide range of things you can do with it. It's really kind of up to your imagination yeah. on the types of tools it can operate yeah. and uh, the types of sensors you can add onto the vehicle. From what was this innovation specifically born? So uh, it was originally the concept uh, was developed at uh, NTU, okay. NTNU in uh, Trondheim. Okay. Um, and it was really about, uh, initially, Strangely enough, it was about a terrestrial snake robot. Oh, okay. But then the developers thought, why don't we try this in the water and see yeah. what happens? Um, and so the idea was to uh, kind of mimic nature. Um, and perhaps you would get some 
uh, efficiencies out of that and some unique capabilities. Uh, and it, they certainly are. Uh, it can actually swim just like a snake in the water without yeah. the thrusters if you want okay. to. Um, and the fact that it's so thin allows you to be very nimble in going through different types of structures mm -hmm. in and around and in a very small spaces. So uh, it's kind of a case where mimicking nature has opened up a whole uh, range of opportunities in, in uh, practical applications. Um, now, to my understanding, it's not yet available on the market. Uh, so can you give us a timeline? Uh, where, where are we at in its development and when, when, do you, when, when will we be seeing it in the water and uh, working? So um, the program right now is uh, basically a series of uh, concept of operations. Okay. Uh, so we've had it in the water in December uh, where it was operating at 150 meters depth uh, and essentially just doing kind of an inspection routine. Uh, the next step uh, mid this year will be 500 meter operations. Uh, and both of these have been in a tethered mode at this point um, and the, the next uh, series will be actually demonstrating the ability to operate different kinds of tools uh, the next step after that uh, will go uh, a little bit further in uh, we'll go to tetalis operation but still 500 meters depth. Mm -hmm. so essentially we're kind of incrementally showing uh, various capabilities of the system uh, that will probably go on for this year and most of next year okay. before we're ready to put something on the market. Fabulous. Rich, it's a busy show. I truly appreciate your time. I hope you have a good rest of your visit here. Uh, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. All right. This is Greg Troutwine with Marine Technology TV.